Hi, I'm Alyssa White. So the film begins while showing Antarctica. A ton of snow fell there. A gathering of three researchers was there for research. They had a transmitter through which they were reading the signals of something. Suddenly they see that the signals were increasing. They were surprised. Meanwhile, the ice falls down from there. A space made at that place. Due to it, their car also goes inside it. Now they were stuck in the ice. They turn their headlights on. They see that there was a spaceship in front of them. They become worried. Later they were rescued while tracking. Here they were working in a research center. They came from another country. There were also people from other countries in that center. They were discovering other things from here. These scientists go to the doctor of that research center. They tell him everything. That they have seen a spaceship. The doctor says to them doesn't worry we will call some scientist and paleontologist here. The paleontologists study the remains of the past. Here some scientists and a girl Kate were called. She was a paleontologist. Now they move to that place where they have seen the spaceship. There they find other people. They together go to that place where that spaceship was. When they see, while going inside it, it was advanced. It was so huge. None would think that there could be a spaceship like this. When Kate comes outside she sees a creature in frozen ice. That creature was huge. But it wasn't doing any movement. Maybe it is many years old. Kate goes to the research center from there. There she this creature tells everyone about this creature. She says that the place where that creature in the ice we have to take it here with ice. We will research it while taking it here. Because she was a paleontologist she can know that how old it is and what kind of creature is it. The next day, many peoples go there to take that creature. Finally, they bring it with ice to the research center. It was really huge. Kate starts watching it. The doctor of that research center says that I want its part. Or give me a tissue cell of it. I also want to research it myself. Kate says that it will be risky. Because this creature is not of this world. It is not a sea creature or other. It came from another world. We don't know that it is harmful to us or not. At first, let me do some experiments on it. That doctor talks to Kate badly. He says that this research is mine or yours. Why are you doing all this? This thing seems strange to Kate. She says that well, what can I say now? Okay but she knows that it will be harmful to do this. Now we see that the doctor had to get a tissue cell of that creature. And he will now do experiments on it. On the other side, we see that the ice of that creature starts melting in that research center. When a man from the research center goes there and sees that creature was seeming strange to him. And then that creature runs from there while breaking the ice. That man tells this to everyone. Then they all start searching for that creature. Inside and outside the research center. As they go outside they see that their dog was injured. And none can come here except that creature. This means it was done by that creature. That creature again arrives there. Kate's friend was standing there. The scientist who come with her. That creature at first move its tentacle in his body and then swallow him. Due to it, some blood drops fall on the scientist who was standing in front. His condition gets worse. He also calls others there. They all say that this creature can harm us. They shoot it with a fire gun and kills it. Due to it, that creature shakes badly. The doctors of the research say that we should do an autopsy of its body. We will come to know that from where did this creature come. Now Kate starts the autopsy. When they were cutting, that creature there was Kate's friend in it. It is obvious that the creature has swallowed him, but it didn't affect his skin. His skin was becoming thick. Like a new skin is coming on his body. Kate finds a rod from that creature's body. She asks if it belongs to anyone. They tell that the man whom it swallowed that rod was in that man's fractured hand. Kate gets shocked. That how that creature takes out that rod from his body. Kate takes some cells of that creature and starts seeing them in the microscope. She comes to know that this creature is dead, but the friend of Kate whom it swallowed it is using his cells. 
It is covering his cells with its cells. This means it is making his cells like it. She gets scared that maybe it is using its friend's body. And after reviving him, it becomes powerful and comes back. Now the man whose face was got wet from the blood drops his condition gets worse. Three more people were sent with him to the hospital. They were going in a helicopter. Meanwhile, Kate goes to the washroom. She finds some metal pieces. She also sees a lot of blood in the bathtub. Gradually, she understands everything. She thinks that, if this creature wants to use anyone's cells, it can't bear any metal in its body. This means metal may stop its process. Now the four persons who are going to the hospital, after using the washroom. But Kate doesn't know who is affected among them. She understands that, if anyone will be affected among them, he will kill the other team. She goes and stops that helicopter. But during this, mutation starts in one man. His body starts cutting from between. And a strange creature comes out of his body. And it attacks that sick scientist. Kate was stooping that helicopter. But till then that helicopter was crashed. It is obvious that the people inside were scared. And none can operate the helicopter. Now Kate and others get sad. Kate was very sad. She again moves to the washroom. She sees that there wasn't any spread blood there. This means there was another infected person among them who is hiding this fact. Kate goes outside and says that I know that there is someone among us who is infected. While taking care of each other we will give blood samples to each other. And they test that who is actually affected. We will place that person separately and will make that person fine. They start saying that we want to go outside from this place. Then Kate says that, what happened to you people? If we will go outside others can be infected. And it will be difficult to control it. We are giving blood samples to each other. I don't want to hear anything. As the meeting finished a girl comes to Kate. She says to her that I know who is infected. She says a boy's name. But Kate thinks that her behavior is strange. She becomes suspicious about her. Meanwhile, the body of that girl opens and a strange creature comes from it. This means that girl was lying. Actually, she was infected. Kate was defending herself. But that creature and that infected girl were, again and again, attacking her. Then Kate's companion arrives there and burns them with the fire gun. Kate comes out of that place. She says to everyone that we have to collect the blood samples again. I know that who was that infected girl. Maybe we are also infected with that infection. On the same night, two scientists arrive there. It seemed that they were killed in the helicopter crash. They somehow survived. They were placed separately. That they might be infected. During this, we see that the place where those blood samples were placed. That place was set on fire. And this was done by the person who was infected. And that person doesn't want to show its results. Kate says that that person has done wrong. I have other ways to know it. That who is infected. She starts checking everyone's mouth with the torch. She was checking that is there metal filling in their teeth or not. This means who is not infected there will be metal in that person's body. Kate starts checking everyone. There were four people who don't have metal in their teeth or body. The infected person is among them. Because that creature doesn't accept any metal in its mutation. Now Kate says to bring those survivals here, so that she can also check their dental filling. One of the survivors named Sam. When they go to take those survivors, they were not there. They run from there. This means among them one will be infected. But Tylee a scientist sees them there. Now among those survivors, the man with Sam shoots that scientist. They fight a lot. Due to the shooting, that place gets into the fire. One man among them gets faint. They were taking that man with them to the other place. The hands of that faint man were on the shoulders of the other two men. But suddenly the hand of that faint man gets separated. And it changes into a hand of a creature. The man who was bringing him attacks his face. He also becomes infected. This means many people among them were affected. And they don't know about them. Now the body of that fainted man turns into a creature. His many tentacles come out. 
That creature among those survivors who was the companion of Sam. It kills him. Then it moves forward to the companion of Kate. And joins his body with itself. Kate gets scared. She brings a fire gun and tries to burn that creature. But that creature was very fast. It immediately runs from there. Then Kate returns and burns the infected people. This means the people who are attacked by the creature. And the doctor of the research center gets scared. He hides at a place. But that creature finds him. And it attacks and kills him. Now only two two people were left. Kate and Sam. He was a survivor. Now they start searching for the creature. After searching it they were about to burn it with a fire gun. But that creature was also clever. It goes into the snow outside. But Kate also didn't accept her defeat and keeps vected now. And also insane. He goes to the place where there was a spaceship. He says that I will not live in his world. I am leaving from here. Kate and Sam start following him. But the doctor also changes into a weird creature and starts attacking Kate. And now he has started the spaceship. Sam and Kate were luckily having a bomb. They plan to blast the spaceship and the doctor. But that bomb falls down from their hand. As Kate moves forward to hold the bomb that creature comes from behind. It holds Kate and it was about to kill her. But then Kate holds that bomb. She throws it in that creature's mouth while activating it. Finally, that creature was dead. Its body was blasted. With it, the spaceship was also destroyed. After throwing the bomb Kate starts running from there. Sam was also with her. They both come out of that place. They were about to move from there while sitting in their car. But then Sam says with fear to place the fire gun behind the car. Because now we don't need this. Kate becomes suspicious of him. She looks at his face completely. She says to him that Sam this ear RNG you were earing in the other ear before. Sam says no see it is in my this ear. Kate says no it was in your other ear before. This means this is the earring with a clip you can wear when you want. And can change. Sam kept that metal earring so that Kate will not get suspicious. Actually, there was no metal in his body. Sam was also infected. He was infected from the start. Due to the fear of death. He didn't tell to Kate. And if they both will go together in the car. They will also infect the people there. That's why Kate somehow while putting stone on her heart burns him with the fire gun. Sam was burning. But the screaming of that creature was coming from his body. This means it is confirmed that he was infected. She takes another car and goes from there. Here she is the only survivor. She was not infected. Because she was very wise and clever. In the last scene of the movie, we see that a helicopter arrives there. To check is there any survivor? Then we see that the man we were thinking was dead was still alive. He also has survived. He hides there due to the fear of that creature. When he hears a voice from outside he goes outside with his gun. And he points his gun towards the pilots of the helicopter. He says them to open their mouth and show him the metal. This means he was checking that they are infected or not. Meanwhile, we see that the dog which was injured and dead, it wakes up and starts running. This means it was also infected, and that creature also joins it with it. That dog was infected and changed into a creature. The survivor who was left there shoots that dog. And finally, there was no infected human or animal left here. With it, this movie ends here. Th if you enjoy this video, please hit a like button, and also do comments for my motivation. If you feel any mistake in my work, and if you have ideas about to improve my work quality, don't forget to do right about. And don't forget to subscribe Movies Max. Thanks for watching.